Hello, this is John Miller, the creator of The Rest of Everest. I think I can safely say that this show is, without a doubt, the most in-depth look into the entire experience of what it takes to climb Everest, as well as some other peaks throughout the Himalayas. But all of the events in the series are shown in chronological order. So if you're new to the show, please go all the way back to episode 000 and watch everything in order. That's truly the best way to enjoy it. Thanks. This is the Rest of Everest video podcast, an almost unabridged expedition experience. Season 6 introduction, K2 and Broad Peak. Hey, you. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Rest of Everest. I'm John Miller. Today I am officially launching Season 6 of the show. And so, as always, I think it's best to give you an overview of what to expect. Over the past few years, I've been able to show you the whole experience of climbing and visiting Everest. Together, we've looked down from the summit and we've looked up from the base at the south side, the north side, and even the rarely visited east side. It's been 10 full years since my first time visiting the world's highest mountain, and it's a little hard to believe that I visited Everest five times. Now, I know I'll return many more times, but one thing I've learned from visiting Everest is that, well, there's just so much more out there than simply Everest. For season three of the show, I launched the Beyond Everest series as Ben Clark took us to the magnificent Annapurna 4. A4 was an amazing experience and made me realize I wanted to do more expedition episodes like that in the future. Back in 2010, and really just a few days after I returned home from the Kangshung Face Workshop and Trek, Ben Clark told me about a climber here in northern Colorado that was going to be heading to Pakistan to climb in the Karakoram. His name was Brian Block. I met him personally, and we immediately struck up a friendship. A few days later, Brian, all of my SD cards, one of my cameras, and all of my sack gear were headed out to Pakistan. His goal was to attempt, for the second time, to summit the world's second highest peak, the famous 8,611 meter, or 28,251 foot K2. This is pyramid. Pretty cool. This trip was going to be different from his original 2007 attempt. This time, he was also going to attempt a summit of 8,051 meter or 26,414 foot Broad Peak, the 12th highest mountain in the world. Many climbers use Broad Peak as a warm up for K2. Yep, I had another Beyond Everest series in the works. Brian has been climbing mountains for over 20 years, even though he grew up in the Midwest of the United States. Yep, he's from the very lacking in mountain state of Iowa. That lack of mountains sure hasn't stopped him though. Not only is he an Everest summoner, and yes, he filmed that expedition too, so stay tuned. He recently completed the seven summits a few weeks ago by topping out on Kilimanjaro in February. When he's not climbing, he spends as much time as possible with his young family, while his day job is as a manufacturer's rep for several well-known outdoor equipment brands like Marmot, Osprey, and Scarpa, um, among several others. This Broad Peak and K2 expedition was the first he's ever filmed, and he did an incredible job at it. The footage he brought back will give you a great idea of what an expedition to this infamous, yet lesser known part of the world is like. Many times you'll see that certain aspects of big mountain expeditions are really all the same. A lot of times it will remind you of the past episodes of Rest of Everest, but the culture and landscape have some big differences, and I'm excited to show you all of that. The Himalayas are vast, and while Nepal and Tibet are always incredible, let's spend the next few months exploring beyond Everest. I think you're really going to enjoy it. So get ready, because next week, we're heading to Islamabad. See you then.